boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. I'm just kidding. First off, I want to say that what I'm talking about today is not specific to the Toyota MR2. It applies to just about every uh, modern car on the planet. In this episode, we're going to talk about O2 sensors. This is an O2 sensor, or actually this is an AFR sensor. I won't go into the difference between them. But uh, AFR sensor is basically a more modern version of the O2 sensor, okay? Air fuel ratio, AFR. This is the end of the sensor that's cruised into the exhaust, and uh, this is the end that plugs into the harness. So the O2 sensor monitors the exhaust and it allows the ECU to determine is there enough fuel going into the engine? Is there too much? Is there not enough? And then the uh, ECU can adjust the amount of fuel. For the running of your car, this is one of the most important sensors in the car. If you want the car to run uh, efficiently and without any damage to the engine, then you need to have a correctly functioning O2 sensor. Okay, we have this car with the engine running and the check engine light is on. We have some other indicator lights on on the dash, but you won't worry about those right now. Before we jump to any conclusions, we need to hook this up to a scan tool and find out uh, what errors the, the ECU is detecting, okay? Okay, so I'm using a scan tool app on Android. This is Torque Pro. So I have two codes here. One is 1135. The other one is 1155. And let's get the detailed description. Okay, O2 sensor heater circuit low. Bank 1 sensor 1. Okay. So uh, let's check uh, the second one. Okay, and that is... Uh, Bank 2 sensor 1. So now we have to get replacement O2 sensors. So let's see how we are going to go about doing that. The first place we look for an O2 sensor is online at the dealer website. At, uh, this is a Toyota dealer. That offers pretty reasonable prices for uh, original equipment Toyota stuff. So this particular O2 sensor that we're looking for for this vehicle AFR sensor actually is $197 so for the two that are needed that's almost 400 bucks the next place we look is on Rock Auto Rock Auto is a reputable supplier of uh, aftermarket automobile parts and we know that uh, Denso brand sensors are the same as OEM okay so Denso actually makes the sensors for Toyota so we look up the corresponding Denso sensor for this car which is uh, 2349021 that's the same as OEM you know with Denso you know you're getting OEM and the price for this one is $112 can we save even more so to save more money we go on eBay and uh, we put in uh, the part number, Denso part number, and we get this whole slew of results. Let's see. We get this whole slew of results of this item being sold by multiple sellers at multiple prices. And this is where we have entered a weird version of reality where we don't know what's real and what's not. Okay, so here's the sensor supposedly the same sensor Denso O2 oxygen air fuel ratio sensor being offered for 44 bucks okay and uh, here's another guy offering it for about the same price and down here 143 bucks so we're all over the place here and we don't even know what we're getting let's find out what we get if we order one of these eBay sensors. So we've ordered two sets of sensors. One is from Rock Auto, and then another one is from uh, one of these random sensors, random sellers on eBay. Okay, and let's see if there's any difference between them. First, the Rock Auto sensors. Uh, these are Denso sensors, they're in Denso packaging. All right, this is authentic Denso packaging. We open it up. 
open it up. Uh, the sensor is uh, in a sealed bag with a part number and it comes with uh, this set of instructions. Okay, and uh, this is the typical packaging of the sensor. And uh, yeah, so this came from Rock Auto. We are pretty well assured that it is an authentic sensor. And one more thing it has that comes with every Denso sensor. It has this uh, little package of, uh, and this is sealed, okay, but it has this little package of anti-seize grease for applying to the threads. And this uh, actually comes in every Denso package that I've ever bought, and I've bought quite a lot, all right? So now, let's look at the other sensors. Okay, these other sensors, first of all, came in this unmarked plain box. This is from a seller on eBay. Then each sensor came in this weird envelope with some bizarre skew on it. See down here, it's got, oh look, Chinese, huh. Chinese lettering, all right? And then inside, there's no plastic wrapper know nothing. So let's take a closer look side by side. The one on the top is the Denso, the real Denso, and the one on the bottom is the, you know, the imitation. I don't want to call it fake uh, because if you do read the fine print on the ad, it, you see that uh, it is uh, some off-brand, but from the headline of the ad, it is represented as a Denso. So there are some small differences in manufacture. You can see right here, okay, there's a difference in the material and the assembly method that's used. Uh, maybe that's consequential, maybe it's not. And then if we look closely, we see that this uh, one on the top, the Denso, has this little dimple in the sensor cone Okay, it has this little dimple in the sensor cone up here and uh, this uh, imitation sensor does not have it so maybe that is one way of telling them apart. Okay, so you might say, uh, what's the difference if it's a real Denso or a imitation or fake Denso? Well, there is a difference, all right, because these imitation sensors they're not manufactured to the same specifications or the same quality. Okay, that's why they are so cheap. And uh, as a consequence, you have very high incidence of bad out of the box. That means you take it out of the box and you install it on your car and it doesn't work. It also has a very high incidence of accelerated failure. That means you put it in and it works initially and then after a few days or a few weeks it quits working. And then it also has a, a third problem, which is a incorrect specification or incorrect calibration. This means that it gives you the wrong readings. It gives the ECU the wrong readings. And as a result, your car does not run properly. Okay. So that's the importance of paying more for an authentic sensor and knowing where to get an authentic sensor, which is from a reputable vendor, a dealer, or a distributor like Rock Auto. Okay. With uh, the uh, imitation sensor, uh, you just don't know what you're getting. You might save some money, but it might cost you more in the long run. Okay, thanks for watching.